Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sani of LS Web Apps. Okay, so we have been looking at functions in previous videos for a while. Okay, so let me just show you one little neat trick in PHP just to get your mind thinking a bit. So I'll just delete all these functions here and we'll just start from scratch. So we'll have some function that will do multiplication for us. So we'll say function multiply and it will take two arguments in this case um, num1 and let's say num2 okay so this will just um, echo num1 times num2 okay so let's just call this multiply and um, let's just pass in let's say 2 and 3 Go back in our browser and we refresh, we should see six. Okay, nice. So next, let's call that again. Let's say multiply. And in, in this case, instead of just passing the number two and three, let's store that in a variable. Let's say um, number one and equal to two. And let's say number two to three and we'll move that right up um, at the top of these functions here and just remember number one and number two they're not accessible in here so we can't just use them there right there so let's pass in them in here so we'll say number one number two and we'll do the same here just bear with me I just want to make a point we'll say number one number two Okay, so let's refresh this. As you can see, we have six being outputted and another six. They should be on the same line. Um, let me just do this just so you can see that. So back in the browser, I refresh and we have six and six. Okay, so but there's one thing in PHP called pass by value, which most of the time is what you'll be doing. But sometimes you want to modify these values um, that they're passing here. So let's just say. Um, we want to assign the number one, let's say num one, for some strange reason, we want to assign it to the value three, okay? So that's going to work in this function. So now when we do echo num one times num two, even though we passed in the number two here, it's going to be three times three, okay? For both cases. So let's just do that. Refresh, as you can see, we have nine, but Next time that we um, come here outside the function and we say echo number one, what do you expect to see? Let's put a dot there and we put a breaking sign there. So what do you expect that this number one is going to be? Remember we passed in number one, but then we assigned it to three. But outside here, number one is two. So um, keep thinking about that for a while. I'll give you a couple of seconds. And um, yeah, so um, just follow along with me. See if you're right or not. Um, yeah, I think you're right. So, okay, so number one still is the number two. So, how do we make sure that when we pass in values here and we modify them in a function that they are exactly, um, they reflect the initial variables? And how you do that is you pass in um, this ampersand here. So, what we're saying right now in PHP is we just don't want you to um, pass in a copy. So, when you're calling a function and you pass in a parameter by default, it's just a copy that's being passed, not the actual values outside. So in this case, we are telling PHP, we want you to pass in exactly this number one. Do not copy number one and pass it, pass in number one itself. So that's what the ampersand does. So now any change we do to number one in here is going to reflect outside this number one here. Okay, so we have modified number one um, in here. Let's just go back in our browser and refresh and we should see the number three instead of number two here. Okay, so as you can see now, when I refresh, we have the number three here. Okay, so um, you may be wondering sometimes like, why do I want to do this? Okay, so sometimes you may want to um, manipulate an array, for example. Let's say we have an array. And um, you want to maybe do something to the array. So the array is has the numbers one, two, and three. And um, let's say you have some function that has the name set array 
first item to zero okay pardon me guys i don't have any other cool name to give okay so um what this array you want to do here is set the first item to zero okay so let's say we pass in array here my array okay so um by default let's say my array zero which is this number one element got to zero so let's just um echo that array so let's say my array zero let's remove everything else because we don't need all of this okay so first let me echo this array the um, first element outside here before we modify it so let's say echo my array zero and we'll say dot we'll add a break there okay and we refresh the browser uh, apparently we have an error so let's see what happened undefined variable my array hmm. okay so this should be my array instead of an array and um, I refresh this browser as you can see we have the number one and one so before we modify the array or try to modify it at least printing out the first element gives us one so we pass it the array inside this function we still set the first element to zero um, but even afterwards we echoed the first element but it was still one and as usual we can just pass in the ampersand here so sometimes this is one really good use case of why you'll want to pass by reference so notice that this ampersand is passing by reference so you want to modify an, an array and then um yeah just maybe make use of it outside of that modification and php actually has a lot of functions that let you do this and this is how um the function signature is defined so back in our browser let's refresh and um, nothing happened um what's wrong okay apparently i forgot to call the array um, function here so let's call this function and um, we're gonna pass it my array and um, yeah so before we actually do that the first instance i didn't call it so now we're calling the array um, function here passing this so we're trying to modify this my array zero element so let's see what happens and I refresh the browser and still nothing it doesn't change the second one to zero but now let's pass it by reference let's do this here ampersand now I might go back to the browser and I refresh as you can see the array um, has been passed by um, reference and not by value and the first element has been changed and the um, change in the function has been reflected on the original um, array okay so that's it guys for this video um, as usual if it was helpful please rate comment and subscribe and do share the videos so farewell until next time i'll see you cheers bye bye